Hey everybody, it's Ermer with Tuano Talk. Wait, hold on. This is where we drop our two cents into your life. And what we're doing today is I'm actually gonna do a quick review on the new 3D printer that we've added to our arsenal. If you look behind me, what's that printing? It's a Mandalorian helmet. This is the Anycubic Churon. Um, and I'm not gonna do any unboxing because there's everyone does an unboxing. Let me just tell you what you need to know. As you can see, it's printing the new Mandalorian helmet that's out on Disney Plus, but at the same time, is it designed for noobs? Yes, if you're a new person or AKA newbie for 3D printing, as long as you know how to follow and read instructions, ta-da! It tells you exactly how to set up your printer and what to do and so forth. It even shows you how to level it so that you can actually get good um, prints and adhesion. And as you can see, this is my other printer, the Robo, uh, what is it called? Robo 3D R1 Plus. Um, currently, it is trying to print best car, best car, best car steel. So, but other than that, as you can see, this thing has a 400 by 400 by 450 plate. Um, the nice thing about this thing is that this bed does not require any type of adhesion material. It comes off. It, it lays down really good and it also comes off really easy. Um, unfortunately, this is what I had to use Aquanet for this. For adhesion, Aquanet. No blue tape, Aquanet. But as far as what we're viewing today, like I said, this is the Anycubic Tron. Um, it is not your typical name brand kind of uh, printer out there, but for the price and the cost, I said, why not? Let's go, let's jump for it. Plus, Amazon has a free return if something happens to it and you don't like it. So, I so said, why not? Let's give it a shot. And as you can see so far, just to give you an actual idea, this thing's been printing for 70 hours straight. It's 90% done. Uh, I am using the original roll of filament, and it looks like it's going to complete the helmet. So, but a couple things. What do you need to know? Is it for a noob? Yes. All you need to do is follow instructions, if you're, especially if you're getting into 3D printing. Um, as you can tell, um, I am in my garage. The temperatures fluctuate anywhere between 40s up to the 60s and 70s. And I've had this thing running for 70 hours, opening and closing the garage. So it is not heat sensitive to where some printers are like, oh, you know, it's too cold so that it doesn't print too good or whatever. This one's been printing great, no problems. I highly, highly recommend it. If you wanna know more about it, I always tell everyone, follow a Facebook group, search up YouTube. Anycubic, the company itself, actually has a lot of, lot of how-tos. Um, I actually watched a few videos where it was talking about leveling, bed leveling, just to have a better idea. Like if you wanna watch your Anycubic bed leveling video, I'll attach it to my links in my bio and my YouTube page. Um, other than that, I hope you enjoy. Is it worth it? Yes. Does it work? Look at it. It works. It's amazing. And, um, you know, I think I might actually just have to add a second one. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this session of Twano Talk. And any, any comments or anything, questions, just message me. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Take care.